Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. Good afternoon. Welcome to Friday, May 21st. Analysis of May 22nd, nine race card. Tomorrow, pure water, pure pride, Jamaican bottled water. Hydration is very key for everything, including the COVID-19 pandemic. Wear your mask. Sanitize your hand, and when you sanitize your hands as quick as possible, get some water or soap and rinse it off, especially those that are given at the establishment across the island. Do not let it satirize getting into your bloodstream. For those who have recovered from the COVID virus, I can understand your experience. And yet some ain't taking the health protocols to limit contacting this very, very serious virus, a virus which there's no ending in sight, at least as present. The first race starts tomorrow at 11.20 a.m. and it goes 800 meters straight or four furlongs straight. 11 were declared. Number one, she's a mistake, gets the tongue tie on, but they need to stay. Still need another race or two to be fully in tune. However, could get into your lower, your lower exotics, seeing that he, uh, she was early in the five and a half furlongs on the 16th of May on uh, debut. Number two, adoration. Well-bred colt who returns off a 15-month surgeon, largely trained, and uh, who should have a fair chance of bettering these will have first time at six. There was an issue on last, that's the 25th of January, where he won by 10 and a quarter length. Uh, not beating much though. And a fair time of one minute flat and three fifth going five for them straight. Oh, and uh, there was a Lasix issue and this horse wasn't declared with Lasix. So much for that. Number four, take two, a debutant, for your bay filly by film, director out of Breathless by Dixie Dancer, own we are family well suited the trainer, Lorenzo Robertson, the breeder, Clive McDonald, the groom, Will Need Times, Chadrick Budai writes. Number six, Soul Treasure, could get into your lower exotic order at a fairly decent odds. Number seven, Commissioner. Chain stable since last race and will be well supported. Seeing that on the 1st of May, out the five follow straight, he finished ahead behind Persistent One and had lines and Trina Qualdens behind. Looking okay on paper at least to fill the top two slot, but I'm not sure he'll do the same, even though liking the straight for this race. Anthony Thomas gets the ride, and I'm sure this horse will have a lot of attention. I'm going out on a limb. I'm not liking this one in the first two, at least. I'm ready to lay the basketball. Use a lot of energy at the starting gates on occasions, and if he can temper down a bit, could get the exactor. I'm not sure beauty. Last race was okay, it was the 19th of April, going six furlongs, uh, led and waiting to be seven and a quarter and third. 
to remake her Queen Destiny. My concern is why it takes so long to race to race after that. Ramon Napier, the apprentice, he will lighten the load in this one. And number 10, Judas P, interesting jockey change after four career starts. Uh, got a break, last race was the 21st of March. And um, he got, he got a respite and now gets Dane Dawkins. Did uh, 37 flat on the third of on the 16th of March, that's for quite a while, but anyway, that's before that last race, so there's nothing much to go by. But uh, just as note, Dane Dawkins gets the call. In 11 King Rail, last two starts were on were on were in November and December of last season. Uh, when he when he got lots of support, as he was loudly whispered on both occasion, and did nothing, making a season season W with Shane Ellis, plus 2.5 kilos overweight. That's very interesting indeed. I haven't seen this one on the exercise track or otherwise to form an opinion, but a lot of slick people are at Kimmel's Park. Number two though, Adoration. From number eight, Lady Bastopa. Number six, Soul Treasure. Number seven, Commissioner. Number nine, Share Beauty. Second race, Incidentally, the first race was for Native Red Fours and Up, which was the maiden condition race. Second race, a Native Red Triole maiden special weight race, five from the street, nine were declared. Five debutants are present in this race. Number one, Nakamura ran better out of straight on debut, first was May, four from the street, this was finished fifth. Eight and a half lengths to curling. Barracuda uh, here had of sea and midnight blue. Uh, but two weeks after that, raced offward, finished ninth by 33 lengths going on the turns. Blinkers is on now, and uh, Apprentice Kemar Parchment, he remains. Number two, Colorado Ranger, possibility for a very, very low exotic spot. Number three, Tiff Dancer, first of the five debutant. This also was born on the 11th of May, based fitted by liquidity out of Come Dance With Me by Blue Pepsi Lodge. Of course, we know Come Dance With Me was a very good sprinter and uh, a reliable thought. Tiff Dancer is owned by Barrel Syndicate, trainer Ron Matthews, Stephine, and Aaron Singh, the breeder. The groom Rupert Johnson, Tiff Dancer will debut with blinkers and the figure eight, note, no Lasix. Useful looking filly who has been showing better, but will have been showing better in her recent workouts uh, for this race. Can be one for the top three slot. Omar Walker, he gets the call. Number four, Baton Rouge, another debutant. This one will debut with Blinkers and Lasix. Was born in January the 26th to be caught by Natural Selection of Little Wasp by another on the fleet. Elizabeth Lacosta, Raymond Rousseau, and Ian Kong. They are the owners. Jason Lacosta, the trainer. Of note, uh, this horse was purchased for a tidy sum. Well, no, not this one. My apologies. It's the previous one. That's number three, Tiff Dancer. But on Rouge uh, was bred by owners Elizabeth Acosta, Ian Kong, and Raymond Rousseau, the groom, guard pennant. Another who has been looking up since May. Been around for a while though, and should do well in this race. Number five, Ring Charmer, one of three debutants present for trainer Patrick Lynch. This also was born the 8th of April, based fully by Where's the Ring, by Charming Beauty, by Best of, Be Best of the Best, joyous racing the owner. 
a Garin Toller, the breeder, Delroy Blake, the groom. Looking to have use, but maybe should be wanting this race. I'm six Queen T, another Patrick Lynch debutant. Uh, this one was born the 17th of February by Philip Bad Deputy Glitter, out of Princess Selena by traditional MNM Racing Stables. Anthony Chin, the breeder, Delroy Blake. Well, he, he grooms, well, he, 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 he was the clearest the groom in all three Lynch horses. Uh, Queen T, surely needs time. Number seven, Simba the Lion. The other Lynch debutant. This also was born the 27th of April, a chestnut colt by Lan Tamer out of Just Whisper by Mario's mom. Joyous racing, the owner, Orange Valley Estates Limited, the breeder, Delroy Blake, the groom. Seems to be the best of the trial that Patrick Lynch has here. Um, I'm expecting a decent display from this one. I've seen this one on occasions, unfortunately, not when he galloped the last two times. Number nine, letters in gold, a possibility for a low exotic spot. Number three, Tis Dancer. From number four, Baton Rouge. Number seven, Samba the Lion. Number nine, letters in gold. That's the order I'm selecting. Third race is for Nidibet Fours and Up, who have never won two races in their career, as well as imported Fours and Up, who are still maiden. They go a mile or 1600 meters, eight were declared. Number one, Princess Lizzie wasn't getting the expected support on the tote in her last 12 races, except for once. That was on the 9th of January, going 9 from 25 yards, got 5 to 2, and ended up fourth, 12 lengths behind the Big Daddy, Old Wharf, and Wharf the Roses, who is still present here. So, I'm a point to think she ain't well. I'm not impressed with that uh, second place display on the 30th of March. Going eight and a half furlongs, where she finished uh, a length and a half second to strike at will and had Quarandero ahead behind. Uh, however, with nothing outstanding in this lineup, she could. She can win. I just don't love her. I like her for a top four slot, but uh, it's your choice. Number two, Silent Cat. His last race seven days ago was a good one as the speed came back and he was closing very fast. I'm not expecting him to win, but he could again run third or fourth there, thereabout. Number four, Wolf the Roses. Not expecting a top three run tomorrow, but a lower order in your exotics may be there. Then Nelson wrote this one uh, a week ago and uh, finished fourth, eight and a half runs behind. China Max, sorry, Chennai Express, Shaboom and Silent Cat. Both those horses who were ahead of him uh, is here again. Then Nelson still remains. Number five, no identity. Has number six Zabatoni beaten now at least at the handicaps? As on the 28th of November, going nine from 25 yards, no identity lost, unfortunately, by a head after hitting the rail and uh, lost momentum. Zabatoni was ahead in front with 54 kilos, no identity had 56 kilos. Shibum, incidentally, was in that race. Uh, now, no identity will have 50 kilos and his laboratory will have 54. Uh, looked very good uh, Monday the 17th. I thought it worked. Cantered around and got up the last four and 50 and three fifths looked quite easy and pulled up very strong. Number six, Zabatoni, uh, last two were off, but can do better. Number eight, Shaboom, finished nine and second, finished nine second place finishes in 23 career starts. And that tells you something. But everything 
have their day of glory one day. Number five, no identity. Number one, Princess Lizzie. Well, I said I was picking this one in my top four, but uh, so be it. Number eight, Shaboom. Number two, Silent Cat. Fortress, it's the claiming race for 150 to 180,000. That's the spread, as well as Nidabred six year olds and up who've never won two races in their lifetime, and Nidabred six year olds who are still maidens. Hmm. 11 horses were could face the start of t- tomorrow. They go six for or twelve hundred meters. Number one, Hill Mary must not be taken lightly for middle order placing. Number three, Estelita could be a focused mare coming off a three month respite. Not seeing this one much, but I'm expecting uh, a, a good display. You know, I just have that good feeling that this horse is ready. Number four, Stan Roy has to be considered. Number five, the next big thing is capable. But making her uh, making her season debut without any exercise support, mm, uh, that's my concern. But the next big thing, if fit and fully focused, have a chance. The seven golden emperor, <laughs> one day may be. Number nine, unbreakable. Horse that has won 25 races in his career. That is a great feat. Clement Last, that was on May the 8th, from Stephen Todd by John Wilmot for Carlton Watson, the connection, who does well with new recruits, should be better suited to this one turn trip. As I mentioned on the Open Gate show, and I think that race, I told you I didn't like him because he hasn't done well going two turns in I think it's the last four attempts there although he has won quite a number there so he's not himself but as I said should be uh, better suited to this trip then Nelson gets the call and this horse goes down in claim from 250 to 180,000. Number 13 powerful red unreliable Anyway, let me take number nine, Unbreakable, from number three, Estelita. For third, number four, Stan Roy. Fourth, number six, that's, sorry, it's not number six, what am I saying? Number five, the next big thing. Number one, Hail Mary for fifth. Fifth race. This is for about five year olds and up men's, so you expect a very cheap feel. And you're right. Nine starters, six for along the journey of 1200 meters. Number one, Lyceum, will be closing if she's in the same vein as on last. Seems to reserve her best for a straight, but in fields this poor, anything can happen. Number three, Stasis Lady has number four, Mansia Monsieur, to contend with, but is way off at the handicaps against that one. Number four, Mansur Monsieur came back uncomfortable on the 19th of April, going six and a half furlongs, when took up the running and looked all over winner, but faltered a bit to be a head second to top gear. Stacey's lady was 10 lengths behind in that race. Mansur Monsieur had the Nelson done, he now has Daniel Thompson, the princess. How physically fit is he? Is your guess. And your guess is as good as mine. But if he comes back in that stead, once you miss your, it looks hard to beat. Number five, Little Red, last twice. She was well supported, but showed zero. Number six, Savitar, business horse. On the exercise track in this field. Let's see what that does. Number seven, King Liberty, another here whose better races were out the straight. Number eight, Northern Ridge, flash speed when last race. Number four, Mansur Mansur. Number three, Stacey's Lady. Number one, Lyceum. Number six, Savitar. That's the order of preference. Sixth race.
The claiming optional claimer is 225,000 with native at 6 year olds and up with number one full rated in their career. And native at 5 year olds who are still a maiden. 15 horses were declared. They go 1400 meters or 7 furlongs. Number one, Isotope. Flatters to be seized as there are three, three subsequent display after that good effort on the 20th of uh, February, going a mile when she closed like a runaway train to get within the length, second to Sir Ashwin Babu. Nala's Bushman was in that race. That horse was a length and a half behind, well, a head behind him, third. Number two, General Mubarak freshened and can get into the exotics at very good odds. Number five, Dallas. Last win was at this very trip going, uh, well, that was way, almost a year ago, well, over a year ago, 4th of July last season. Won very easily by four lengths, beating Chris Anley and Hot Ice. Uh, should be in the top four. It's not here and uh, could be a dangerous horse. Number six, right at the mob, gets the Nelson, last, who lost one aboard him on the 7th of February, but that was five furlongs round against a much weaker field than this one. Number seven first selection will be on the lead. Number eight, here comes the boss, a dangerous customer, if focused. Number nine, Walt and Matilda, a very low exotic placing is possible. Number 10, Rockaway, problem with this one, he doesn't seem that he can break okay from the gate, regardless of the issue. So he can get up in time for the win. Number 12, Lava Close, looking okay in condition. Note, I said condition, it's physicality, is the problem. Number 13, Mam and Juice, another who is looking better since last race and can do well here. Number 14, Niles Bushman broke a long spell of win and got his third win, third career win uh, two weeks ago closing from way off the pace in a two-turn uh, trip race. Number five, Dallas from number 10, Rockaway. Number 13, My Mom Juice. 15, Nalas Bishon. Number three is General Mubarak. We're at race seven. It's for, you know, it's, it's named in honor of Michael Sims, the starter, Michael Sims. Very hardworking gentleman, uh, very likable too, and the Open Gate Show applauds the starter, my, the seal starter, Michael Sims. This race is for imported children and up, who've never won three races, and the native red trios, and four olds, who've never won four races in their lifetime. Seven for a longer 400 meters, seven declared. Uh, five horses here for the champion trainer and to the Babylon Unis. Well, it's a regularity. And, uh, well, it's racing. What else can you do? Number three, Awesome's Choice, well bred filly who is back three weeks after he didn't even finish the race on the 1st of May. Interesting though, he came back on the 17th of May. 16 days after and got six followers in one sixteen and three fifth. Mm. Well, it's very interesting how, how he runs, well, how she runs the Cardenas. He gets the call. Number four, one done. Looking a bit improved since last race. That was on the 20th of March when he finished uh, non pleasing. Uh, where he finished third, 11 and a quarter length, Laban, Lord Lucy were ahead of, the, of him. Uh, 11, 11 and a quarter length, six furlongs. Anyway, he will be running, he will be running on. He's been working okay by standard, well, by the trainer's standard, I should say. So one done could upset. Number five, hoist the mask, last two starts were not encouraging, plus she was a late on starter two weeks ago. Good filly, who now has Shane Ellis aboard, and first time figure eight uh, on after eight career starts. Number six, Nuclear Noon, impressive win on his seasonal debut. Working well since that, 
and his classic intentions will be on display tomorrow. Number seven, got a girl moving very well in the morning and know how to and knows how to only run one way on the lead. The interesting thing in this race is that majority of the horses are lead are leaders. They love to go to the front. They have to be careful though of number four one done. Number six, nuclear noon. Number seven, got a girl. Number four, one done. Penultimate race, race eight, named in honor of Deputy Starter, Dwayne Timmel, very hardworking and very valuable personnel at Camelos Park when it comes to horses on the starting gates. And the open gate show applauds Deputy Starter, Dwayne Timmel. This race is for Nader Bread Fuel Maidens. It's a condition race. They go seven furlongs or 1400 meters, 10. Were declared number two golden blood gets blinkers after that debut run uh improving but not enough for me to win this race number four positive id run improved with first time lasix should find a spot on the board number five curtain flight makes his first start for trainer patrick lynch and experiencing the curve for the first time after two career starts, bred to sprint, especially on the dumb side by City Flight, by City Place. Perfect curling, the stallion, always shows them with stamina, as is evident with the projects that he has here in Jamaica. Number six, Van Krisha, working well. And the 15th, on the 15th of May, 7 for one thirty three and the 4th and, and, and 2 5th. Another venture on the turn for the first time uh, after four career starts out the straight, of three career starts out the straight. We'll have for first time figure eight as well as Shane Ellis. Vanquisher, surely, is a very useful horse and could be dangerous. Some chromatica ran well on the 30th of April, that's his last one. Going five and a half for long closing to finish second two and a quarter to Old King Cole. Uh, it's worked well since 15th of uh, May, 7 for the 1, 30, 33 and 4 5th in the Blinkers. Number nine, Alexis Dream at fair support and board career starts. Uh, and uh, her season of debut. On the 15th of May, uh, was okay, although finishing 13, 13 and a quarter and fourth to She's My Destiny, rather than Saint and, and Capture. Uh, but I think that, that race was used to get a sharper edge for this race. As they have uh, classic, ten, uh, as the connections have classic on their mind in the this section. Number nine, Alex's dream, tentatively, from number five, Curling's flight, number six, Vanquisher, dangerous horse, number four, positive ID, number seven, Chromatica. Final race, the Monday morning trophy for Nidabred Trio, who never won two races, and imported children up, who were maidens. It's the restricted allowance, none when there's two race. Monday morning, of course, Triple Crown winner, uh, shared by Enos Brown and Stanley Finlay, originally trained by Joshua Morrison, a horse that I spotted as a, as a two-year-old when he was trotting and everything. I told the owner, I think you have a classic horse. Anyway, that's that's irrelevant. Uh, 1,400 meters or seven furlongs. 16 horses were declared, but I have note for those who are reading the race book, only 14 horses uh is on this page and the other two horses that's number 15 prince marshall and number 16 and bad gallery you must make note that they are there in this race too number one king's magician working well and uh, finish 
a surprising third, although 11 are called lengths to nuclear noon and double diva on uh, the 24th of April. First time it's also starting for uh, trainer Anthony Nunes, who had acquired his horse uh, after he was advertised for sale, working okay. Uh, the Nelson gets the call, should be part of the low exotics, not necessarily at the bottom, but maybe fourth and fifth thereabout. Number five, Catalina, youthful filly who has speed and looked very good Saturday, the 15th of May, when galloping almost a flat five from gallop in 102. Uh, beating Danish Spud looked very easy. Catalina is one to consider for your high five and the sixth magical mood. Surprise everyone on the 1st of May. Going five for long straight at 99 to 1 and almost won. Finished ahead second to still made a zero and had alimony one and a half ends behind. Still made Anthony Uris occupied the first three spot. Let's see if this is flattery. I think so, but let's see. Number seven, Big Julie, Big Jewel. Uh, incidentally, this horse won well and looked a bit green. Uh, has improved. I mean, working exceptionally well in blinkers. Uh, beating stable mate and grade one horse mahogany by two lengths on Sunday, the 16th of May. Uh, uh, but has been showing some roguish behavior en route to the stables after he, exer after he exercises. Connection has classic intentions of which it is much alive. Very interesting breeding, you know. I should warn you, this big Julie. For the matter of fact, uh, this horse is bred by Tapizar, who has an offspring, Mahogany Girl, who has won 14 races from 17 starts in the States, and uh, including uh, two Breeders' Cup, Cup races. Uh, the dam, Blues in the Grass, is a blue grass cat mare, uh, who won two ordinary races from two start, but is also well bred. Very good chance, this big jury. And, you know, that workout that they really had our mouth again. Number nine, Rusty. Kind of like how he's been looking since that last race. Work Check out KD's vehicle Mr. headlamp and restoration. Monday, Our headlamps are fine sanded, buff and 9H coated with a two year guarantee. Uh, Price starting you know, at $4,500. Internal surprised. restoration and modification you know, you know, starts at $8,000. To make an appointment to today, call us at 876 824 6186. But if he's focused, he's going to give them a run for their money tomorrow. Number 11, Amy the Butcher, has to be considered seeing that on the 1st of May, going seven and a half furlongs, she, she was prominent and ended up four lengths third to She's a Wonder um, sensational ending in secret identity. That definitely says a lot, and Amy the Butcher is very, very light. Number 13, Will the Conqueror, gets first experience on a curve after three curl starts out the straight. Uh, it's, uh, we'll be having first time Lasix. Number 14, Jason Blessin, look well on Tuesday, the 18th of May. And galloping a flat three from 36 and 2 fifths. Need <laughs> much more than that for this. I am not really considering number 15, Prince Marshall. And number 16, Bad Galriri with more chance, uh, maybe the low exotic order, but you know, I'm leaving them out. I'm selecting number seven, Big Julie from number nine, Rusty. Number six, Magical Mode. Uh, 
tentatively. Number five, Catalina. Number one, King's Magician. My best two. First race, number two, Adoration. Ninth race, number seven. That's Big Julie. And, you know, I wish you all the best of luck. Remember, they'll be racing on Tuesday, the 25th of May. And uh, some good horses are running, and it's a very good card. Make sure you listen to the Open Gate show on Monday, as I'll do my best to assist you. You must always remember, it's not what I select, but it's what I say about the horses. And the replays can attest to that. It has been pretty accurate. Okay, remember, rehydrate with pure water, pure pride to make a bottled water, a pure water we drink. Wash your hands after you sanitize it. Wear your mask and practice social distancing. Adhere to the health protocols so it can limit the spreading and as well as you contacting the virus. Take care. We will be having some interviews pretty soon. So please bear with us. Greetings, everyone. This is George Osang listening to Open Gate Show. Number one, take a listen. Hello, racing fan. This is Emila Bimbo Rodriguez. Listen to the Open Gate Show with Colin Blair, giving you the latest tips and reviews on the horses. Big up the number one show. Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs.